Hi my beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Arcana Priestess. Alright guys, so um, what are the messages? Well if you are new, welcome and if you're returning, I'm so glad to have you. Um, for those of you that are new, feel free to subscribe. Um, all of my subscribers get entered in a giveaway for a free reading every single month and if you want to participate in more giveaways, feel free to follow me on Instagram where we do weekly giveaways. Alright you guys. Personal readings are in the description box below. I'm going to be doing your second intimate reading, so that will be below, you guys. Um, what else? 2021 forecast. So the 2021 forecasts are going to be an exclusive offer. I am only giving out a couple of them. Um, so those are in the description box below, as well as uh, six months ahead if you don't want to purchase the whole entire 2021 forecast. Pretty sure that is everything that I have to say. So for this entire month, I will be doing readings um, delivered within three days. So instead of the normal wait time, any purchase is going to be delivered within three days. So if you, uh, so instead of purchasing an emergency, you just purchase a normal reading. It won't be for the hour long readings. It'll only be for 15 and 30 minute readings. Um, but the wait time will be drastically shorter than usual. I am doing this just right now as because as the holidays start to come, I know the wait times are gonna be quite extensive. So I figured I might as well do this for you guys while I can. The Chariot. This just came out in Sag. The Chariot. And the High Priestess. Look at what I'm, oh, look at here. Yeah. Love it. And then look at this judgment. I never pulled three for anybody, but you guys are special. So, what I was going to say, first of all, and judgment confirmed it, was you're finally taking action towards what you've always known, right? You've had, um, some of you, this is a suspicion that you've had. You've had this deep knowing. Um, some of you, you've had this deep knowing about what it is that your calling is, and now you're finally taking action towards it. You're finally making a decision. Some of you guys, you're going to really be thinking about this, thinking about, you know, going from the thinking part to kind of like, um, stepping into the planning like if I were to do this how would it work if I were to start this dream business what are the steps that I would need to take is it realistic I don't believe in realistic because I believe everything is realistic I believe you can achieve anything in the in the world that you want to achieve as long as you believe it but this is what I see you doing you're trying to see if I were to do this what are the steps I would need to take it looks like for those of you that are starting a new business, follow my personal account because I will be sharing the process of me starting my business, my um, brand over there. So that, that is in the description box below. I am running into a little bit of difficulties. It's actually, my sign is actually in, not my sign, but my ruling planet is actually in retrograde. So everything that I wanted to have done in October is kind of being pushed towards November. Um, makes me annoyed but it makes me realize that it's actually what it's supposed to be like it's meant and I know it's happening for a reason so the content is going to be coming out a little bit slow um but in November it's going to be coming out a lot quicker it's I'm making the content so I guess it's a good thing because then I'll have a lot more in advance but it just sucks that I can't really show you guys everything until the what I'm working on has been complete but um, so yeah, follow that account because there's going to be a lot of tips there. I'm really going to be showing you a lot of, you know, me starting, you know, my business and, and so on. But, um, you guys are ready to take action. You're ready to rip the chains off, the chains, the fear. I've seen the eight of swords and you're breaking through those swords. You're no longer going to be held back by fear, anxiety, doubt. Those are, those are non-existent. You're really being called to watch your words. You're really in this energy of manifesting things very, very easily. But you can also manifest bad things. What you speak, you're speaking into existence. So for those of you guys that are interested in mirror work, affirmations, really good time for you to get into that. Really good time for you to get into mirror work and affirmations. I saw the card awakening. Some of you guys are definitely having an awakening. 
the two of voices oh and the fool you know what's weird is underneath that that i was not pulling four for you guys because i know there's going to be cross watchers and i seriously only pulled one for everybody some people got two but i was not pulling a fourth one but one of them was a fool and it really did want to come out because we have the two of voices and the fool yeah stop i have headaches you can stop listening to other people stop listening to other people um People may, it's not that they have bad intentions. They think they know what's best for you, but only you. What you know in your heart and in your soul is what is best for you. Not what somebody else is going to say is best for you or say is good for you or say that they can see you doing. You need to, this is a time where you're kind of needing to block out outside voices and only go within your, within your own, um, get your own opinion. Listen to your own opinion. And if you feel like you still need advice, I would hire somebody, right? If you have a therapist, maybe ask your therapist. If you have a reader that you go to, maybe ask your reader. But I would say to keep out personal opinions for this month. Just keep them out because I think that they're gonna end up um, steering you in directions where you're not truly meant to go. You're not truly meant to go. And I think it's because those people are gonna be too attached to you um, to the point where they're putting their own vision and their own judgments over your life because of how protective of you they are. So I'm not seeing any bad intentions or anything like that. I'm just saying it's better for you to just really first trust yourself. And then if you still need backup, go to your therapist, go to your tarot reader, go to, you know, somebody who isn't your friend family circle. Don't go to your coworkers. I heard somebody say so. A co no, that's the last person you wanna No. There's a difference between a friend and a work friend, so keep that in mind too. Um, not always, but a majority of the time, there's definitely a difference, you guys. So with the Fool of the Two of Voices, it's like you know that you wanna take a leap of faith. You know that it's time for you to start a new chapter, but Maybe because it's new and it's scary and it's an unknown chapter, you're wanting to get the opinions of others who have done something similar. I'm hearing you can get as many opinions as you want, but your journey is going to be unique to your life purpose. Yeah. Every tarot reader didn't, you know, become a tarot reader the same way, didn't start wanting to do tarot the same way, didn't join or begin their process of reading the same way. Right? We all have our own unique experiences. The only way you're gonna really get this fool, this whole entire new start, is if you only listen to the voice within yourself. Or someone who can tap into it, like I said, a tarot reader or a therapist. Because therapists, they're not readers, but you know, they have their own way of doing things. I, I don't understand how, but they have their own, you know, because they study it in different ways. Right. All right. Show me what Pisces needs to see, please. Page of materials. Nine of voices. So, so oh, what the heck was that? Oh my gosh, where are all these cards turning from? Um, I literally just stuttered. <laughs> So, nine of voices. And yeah, stuttering. I'm also hearing just too many people, too many voices, too many people talking. There's a new opportunity coming in and you're gonna overthink it and you're needing to just take that leap without overthinking. If it sounds good, do it. Do it. Do it before you can, it's that five second rule. If you don't do it within five seconds, you will start to doubt yourself. You will start, you will allow doubt in, you will allow fear in, you will overthink it. You know within five seconds if you like somebody or not. You know within five seconds, you know, of looking at that thing on the menu, if it's something that you would decide to have or not. Some of you may have like a little bit of an addiction about getting other people's opinions. 
for real. It's a thing, you know, even personally, I'm gonna say this. I used to always ask, like, I always ask for people's opinions and a bunch of different things. And I never understood why, because I knew at the end of the day, like I was never gonna listen. I was only gonna take my own opinion, my own advice, but I just wanted to know what everybody else would say or whatever the reason was. Um, and I stopped doing that and I'm very glad I did. But some of you guys, you're kind of experiencing something like that. Or it may be that you are dependent on others' opinions and you're needing to really just rely on your own opinion and trust that you know. Trust that you know what's best for yourself. Some of you have uh, somebody, if you're single, you have somebody that's going to come in and you may notice that they're rushing a little bit. Know that your intuition is, is warning you away from this individual, especially if it's an Aquarius or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You are being divinely guided away from this person. Page of Voices. Some of you guys actually have somebody that, I'm hearing this is the part, you're gonna know who this is. This is a person that it's always the, one of the first people to look at your stories. And this person has a little bit of an obsession here, but this person is completely emotionally closed off. They are very unavailable emotionally. They don't want to be, but they are. This may be the person that you're getting advice from. And, the, and some of you, you may have grown up a, with a group of people who know this person and that may be why like if you were to get your friends opinions your family's opinions they grew up with this person and they see they've seen or pictured the two of you guys together for a while you may even be married to this person but if you were to get somebody professional to you know they would have a whole different um perspective as they would be coming in from the outside right um and seeing it for what it truly is not for the um person that this person placed themselves as in your friends and family's mind right it's like when you go through a breakup and then you you're like this person even their family was shocked like they were nothing like they were in the beginning we would have never guessed he had a whole nother family like you'd be surprised the stories that i hear you guys it's just so heartbreaking um but somebody definitely here has a facade and there's somebody here that's definitely obsessed with you Somebody very controlling that you've been thinking of walking away from for a very long time because there is no emotional fulfillment in this connection anymore. It is boring. It is stagnant. You want something more exciting, but you've been with this person for quite a long time or you've built something with this person to the point where it's just like, oh, do I really have to start all over again? Yes, you do. Because it's only going to get worse. Hermit, it's time for you to take some time to yourself, go within. There's a deeper purpose to life rather than what it is that you're currently doing. The track that you're currently on isn't actually where you're going to end up on, but that doesn't mean that you took the wrong route. You went exactly where you needed to be at a certain time, at a certain point in your life, but it's been overdue for some of you about three months now where you were meant to enter into a new chapter and leave something behind because you had already completed your cycle with a person or with a situation. So you've been called for a while now to head towards another direction, but you've been feeling quite stagnant. You may be, you know, asking other people for opinions and that's why you're stuck because the answers are from within you. You have to go within to get the answers to break free. 
Now, some of you just going within is just going to confirm the answers that you had already known the whole entire time. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you. If you would like more clarity on your situation, feel free to book a personal reading in the description box below. Um, the 2021 forecast as well as six months forecast are there as well. And now we're going to jump into your intimate reading. So we're going to use sexual magic, sensual desires, and in between the sheets, I am going to pull one of the tarot cards now so that you can get a sneak peek as to what that reading will be like. Keep in mind the re why it is an extended is because I don't have to have a filter. Whereas on YouTube, I absolutely have to have a filter and I cannot show these cards. So, um... Yeah, that's the difference as to what I'm going to be showing you in this card versus over there. You can actually see the cards and I can actually speak. Wow, the chariot. So, um, oh, this person finds you precious. Some of you, you went from dealing with somebody who was quite rough. Um, they weren't, you know, you never really made love. You never really were passionate with one another. It could even start it off very casual, but you made this person, you might've even noticed that as you slept with this person more and more, they became soft. They became more sensual. Somebody's obsessed with your back. So some of you are dealing with a Taurus here. Um, some of you, your person's fantasies are just like, they really can get turned on just by you slightly. You don't have to like massage, but just by you slightly running your finger um, down the arch of their back. <laughs> Along the upper sides of their butt too, the one that's like right on that back wall. It's like feather, you know, it's like if you were to, somebody wants to use feathers too. That's somebody's fantasy here, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a whip and I'm seeing feathers. Feathers is intuitively the whip is in the picture here. Yeah, you're definitely melting somebody's heart. Um, I think that this is the first time that the person you're dealing with has had um, a spiritual like connection, an intimate spiritual connection. I think that they were always, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. They are that kind of person, but not anymore. Um, you're taking them to a whole nother level and it's your watery energy that's just kind of like sucking them in and they love it and they can't get enough. But at the same time, there is this energy where they do feel like they're drowning a little bit. They love it, but they're trying to make sense of it. All right, so we're going to take a deeper look and we're going to get to know like what's really going on in this person's mind. Um, you know, what are their fantasies? What do they like that you do? What do they want you to start doing? And so on. But um Thank you guys for watching. That will be the first link in the description box below. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and take care, my loves.